Hi everyone, it's Mithril and welcome back to my journey of learning to draw. I've been sort of dabbling in art since about 2017 when I started this channel, but I never really took it seriously because I felt like I didn't have the talent or the drive to really take my skills to that professional level where I would be able to do anything with it. That is until I found Evolve Artist. And over the past year doing the course, I feel like I've made like five years worth of progress if I'm going by the speed I was improving at before. And I loved it so much that I came here to New Jersey to study for the next year with the artist who founded the course, Kevin Murphy. So this past week was all about moving from my apartment in Chicago to my apartment here in New Jersey. And I don't know, it was kind of a cursed trip. So we left Chicago on Tuesday, beautiful weather, beautiful trip. It started raining as we were headed into Pittsburgh where we were staying the night. A little rain, no big deal. I forgot that there was a hurricane in the area. So the next day I wake up, there's flash flood warnings. We head out east toward New Jersey. And as we are driving, I'm getting flash flood warnings. Every time I pass into a new map zone, I kept on saying flash flood warning until tonight at four, flash flood warning until tonight at six, flash flood warning until tonight at 10. And it, the time just kept on getting later and later as we moved further east. And it was raining so hard by the time we actually arrived at the apartment in New Jersey. It was dark, it was late, it was wet. Fortunately, my roommate was already here at the apartment, so she was able to get her giant umbrella and get me out of the car with just a few essentials. So I was able to get my clothes and the air mattress, and that's it. No sheets, no pillow, no blanket. So the first night I slept on a blanket that I borrowed from my roommate, Lucia, who's also doing the full-time program at the studio. And I used my teddy bear as a pillow. So that night there was also a tornado warning. So we all decided to pile into the basement so we would be safe. But there were like two windows in the basement, which I felt like was not very safe. And also we found all sorts of weird things. Water was flowing in. It was. It was kind of a stressful time. So the next day I tried to take this path to get to the studio and well, it was completely flooded out. And here is the studio. So Kevin officially just handed over the keys to us and now I can come in here and work whenever I want. I am so excited to get started. His first directive to me was to just get in the studio and do as many still lives as I can. Also, here are some of the paintings by the advanced students who were here during the summer classes. When I visited a month ago, these were like half finished at best and now they are all finished, so beautiful and polished and some of these are going up on the wall. All of the paintings here on the wall are done by current and former students of Kevin's and I hear it's quite the prestigious honor to be placed up there. I'm hoping that maybe one of my works can get up there one day. I took too long editing this video, so let's go through my first few days here at the studio. So classes officially start on Wednesday, which is tomorrow as of right now, but I have been coming in every day to work on those still lives. So this blue rabbit is my still life from the first day. I definitely felt a bit rusty doing this one, like I had a hard time mixing enough colors for the background, so like I couldn't extend them out all the way to the edges. There are some proportion issues within like the legs and the arms here, but overall I'm really proud of it and I feel like it looks great for my first try after the move. This is my second still life that I did yesterday. I decided to go a little bit more ambitious with the subject matter, mixing two colors instead of one, and I made the background a little bit more like true to life. I'm really happy with how the sketch came out and I really like how precise I was with the shadows. That's one of my biggest problems in my still life so far. I feel like whenever I'm in the shadow phase and I'm just blocking everything in, it looks so imprecise and I'm not sure what I'm doing. This time I feel like I did a good job on that. Some problems I was having was with like the red paint. I don't think it shows up super well on camera, but it was really thin and streaky and it felt really watery and I barely even added any oil to it and without the oil it wasn't flowing very easily so I'm not really sure what to do about that I don't know if that's everybody's red paint or if it's just mine but I will definitely need to ask Kevin when he comes into the studio and also somehow I completely messed up 
like the angle here on this purple object. Fortunately, I feel like it still looks okay in the painting, but if you compare it with the reference image, I did not capture that part of it correctly. So it turns out having all these still life subjects here doesn't actually make it easier to figure out what to paint. Every day I'm still like circling around trying to figure out what to do. All right, so for today's subject, I decided to do the blue rabbit again, except from the front this time because I wanted to do this on the first day, but I got scared of all the facial features and stuff like that. So I'm gonna challenge myself this time. Also, this is Lucia, my roommate and one of the other full-time students here at the Art Academy. Right now she's working on her first painting of block two after doing 10 of the proportional drawings. Good luck. Good luck. Thank you. This world was not made for people like me, so I had to rearrange my workstation every day to make it left-handed friendly. It was very satisfying to just be able to grab stuff from this mountain of supplies. I've been carrying all my paints and stuff back and forth every day so far, so hopefully when Kevin comes in we can figure out a place where I can store them more long term. So lately I've been trying to paint onto the easel the wrong way. So normally if I was doing a vertical subject like this, I would put the canvas vertically and try to fit it as big as possible on the canvas. But for these, I just wanna do it for the learning experience and not the best painting. So hopefully I can get myself to paint it a little bit smaller and not put too much effort into this and turn this into like an eight hour session. So one of Kevin's students here at the Art Academy dropped by, hello? Hello. What's your name? Uh, Andrew. Uh, how long have you been studying here? Uh, around two, three years. Two, three years. Yeah. And how old are you now? I'm 16, about to turn 17, so. Oh, wow. Do you come here with any art experience? Um, very little, but this definitely helped a lot. Yeah, how long have you been working on this painting? <sighs> say about five weeks now. Wow. Yeah. And how many hours a week do you do it? Probably like 10 plus hours. Dang. Yeah. What's gonna happen to it after it's done? And of course, my phone has to run out of storage at that moment. He says that he's gonna take it home and hang it up at his house. The subject is actually a statue from his house and Kevin photoshopped in the background and everything. And that's his reference image. And he says he wants to go to an art school or a design school after he graduates from high school. Just wanted to say thank you guys all so much for joining me on this journey so far. This video has been a bit chaotic, but I feel like my life has been chaotic, so it kind of fits. Along with my art, I also want to improve my video making capabilities and equipment. If you want the full story of what's happening, you can follow me on Instagram where I'll be posting pretty much everything I make daily and also on TikTok. I've been really inspired lately to make different TikToks and experimenting with those short form video styles. I've been trying to re-upload as many as I can to my second channel. Unfortunately, some of them I can't due to copyright reasons, so you will have to look directly on my TikTok profile for those. In addition to these sort of video diary type videos, I also want to post all the lectures and demos that Kevin will be giving to us. And also sometimes Kevin just says like, the most random things. And I'm like, oh my God, I wish I could share this with my viewers right now. I'll try to get as many of those as I can and upload them somewhere. These will all be organized in a playlist on my channel page. So here's the finished painting. It did turn out to be quite difficult. So I'm glad I went with like a smaller size rather than trying to fill out the entire canvas. As you can see, it is a lot more complicated than the painting I did two days ago but I'm glad that I rose to the occasion and took on the challenge. I'll get there eventually. Awesome, good luck. Thank you. I used way too many brushes today, so I'm gonna have to spend quite a bit of time cleaning up. So can confirm, washing brushes is still a slog no matter how cool the setup is. Also, I finally got to meet Sean, who's the third student in the full-time program this year. And you guys, I am so excited. 
He actually has like art goals that are kind of similar to mine. He's the first person here who's known who Vlop and Loish are. He does digital art, he does 3D modeling. Super pumped to ask him about transitioning from the art academy traditional realism to digital art and concept design. So subscribe if you want to follow along on my journey where I'm developing my skills, figuring out what I want to do with my life, all that jazz. Stay safe and healthy out there, everyone. And remember that talent is a myth. Now, get back to work.